All right, gentlemen, play poker and good luck. <coughs> you got a problem, sweetheart? Me? No. No. I got a problem, Milt. What's that? I thought this was supposed to be a friendly poker game. What's with the piece? It's my insurance policy. Make sure that the friendly game stays friendly. You still got a problem? No. Let me see those. Uh, they were sealed. Everything okay with you, Milt? For now. Be my guest, Mr. Harrison. Thank you. Let me have a scotch, please. All right. Yes, scotch. Yeah, wait a minute, Jadine. Jadine, isn't it? Right. What can I get you, Mr. Butler? How about a kiss of luck? No, Jake, don't do it. You blow this whole thing before it ever starts and get us all killed. Relax, Sheila. Carrie and Rika should be coming through that door any time now. You know, maybe we should wait outside for them. The Scranton bus is going to drop them right in front. I mean, what could happen between the curb and the door? I'm doing it again, aren't I? <laughs> you are so concerned about your sister. Aye, too concerned, too protective. Well, I am glad you were here to keep me in line. Well, I'm kind of glad about that myself. <laughs> Oh, why, Commissioner Nichols and Miss Price, this must be my lucky day. At least it's somebody's. Miss Lord, hmm? what can we do for you? Oh, no, no, it's what I can do for you. Well, knowing how close you both are to the Buchanan's, you'll be fascinated by the intruder's headline for tomorrow. I just happen to have an advanced copy right here. We barely have time to catch the plane. Come on, sweetheart. You can get your stuffed animals down here. Oh, it's a taxi. We'll be with you in a sec. Come on, sweetheart. Let's I'm in go. no rush. You, on the other hand, seem to be in quite a terrible hurry. May I ask where you're going? Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in. This time, here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't win. Don't cry. I'll give you tomorrow. Let me be the one to share it with. And each day that follows, cause we only have one life to live. Carlo, I wasn't going anywhere. Your uh, little boy is going on a vacation? <laughs> no, of course not. He's just going to spend the night with his grandmother. Al, my darling, don't rush. We have plenty of time. And plenty of clothes. More than enough for a little boy on a one-nighter with uh, Grandma. Well, you've met Julia. She has many wonderful attributes, but she doesn't keep rain boots and blue jeans and then their superhero pajamas. She doesn't keep them. <laughs> I have to make sure that he's well prepared. You seem so concerned about Mac's custody case. Uh, I'm surprised you don't uh, keep a hold on the child and never let him out of sight. I felt that way in the beginning, yes, that's true. But then I realized how selfish I was being. You? Yes. But it wouldn't be fair on Al to keep him in this house. I'm waiting to have a sentence laid on me by the judge, and then, of course, there's all the reporters who keep wanting to bang the door down, and I'm running around like a nervous wreck all the oh, time. Oh, you're uh, protecting him? Yes, that's it, exactly. Oh. Well, just because I'm being forced to go through such horrible times, there's no reason why my son should be pulled through the ringer as well. He loves being with his grandmother. In fact, I think I I'll probably let him stay there a few days. That'll give me a chance to think of what I'm going to do about Max's custody. Fight. Don't you think it would be better for Al in the long run? Yes, yes. It's a very noble, selfless uh, decision on your part. <laughs> Too bad it's a total crock. Thank you, Oh, come on, Gabrielle. You don't really think you're fooling me, do you? Because you're not. Well, Carlo, why would I want to fool you? Uh, don't bother looking for the taxi. It came the same time I did. I uh, sent it on its way. I had a feeling you uh, wouldn't be uh, needing it. Carlo, I, I ordered a Oh, come on, Gabrielle. I know what you're going to say now. You're going to uh, tell me why you called a taxi to take you to your mother 
when your car is in the garage. I don't know, I know, you lost the keys. No, 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 the battery's dead. I got it, I got it. The cat ate your homework. I... What, what, come on, come on, speak up, Gabrielle. Only no more lies. They're a waste of time. I... I don't have a choice. I'm going to jail. I'm going to lose my little boy. I can't sit in this house and wait for these terrible things to happen. You don't like that? Then punish me. I don't care. Kill me. I could care less. I admit the headline pours on the hype, but the central question remains. Which question is that, Dorian? Oh, now, now, Troy, just between us. It's quite obvious that you're suppressing evidence about Vicky. Is it? Oh, you're gonna make this difficult for me, aren't you? All right. And tell me, why was Vicky pretending for so long to be Nikki, despite the emotional difficulties it caused her family? Well, you seem to have all the answers. Why don't you tell me? Oh, and then there is uh, the Gabrielle factor. Yes, now we all know that she stole the tape from Landfair the day that Johnny D was murdered. Question is, what's on that tape? Or should I say, who's on that tape? Troy, you know, you don't have to answer this. Why don't we just wait outside? No, no, so much no, no, Sheila, I have nothing to hide. Well, then why are you dodging my questions? Because we're having dinner, not holding a press conference. Oh, I see. Miss Price speaks for the commissioner's office Listen, now. Listen, Dorian, Sheila, Sheila, you know... It's okay. I appreciate the support, but I can deal with Dorian. This kind of thing goes along with my job. Your job, yes, that's it. Now, is it your job to protect the people of Landview, all of them, or just the mayor who hires you? Now, let me get this straight. Are you accusing Mayor Buchanan of something? Not yet. But I am accusing you of denying the people of Landview the right to the facts. Wait a minute, you know, it sounds to me that you're calling him a liar. Well, I have got news for Sheila, Sheila, not... please, please, allow me. Miss Lord, I'm not going to dignify your accusations or this birdcage liner you call a newspaper with a response. I'm only going to tell you very politely, get off my back and stay out of my face. You have heard of the First Amendment. Well, I know all about freedom of the press. And when I have something to say, I will say it. Until then, I suggest you watch what you print about me and Mayor Buchanan. Is that some kind of a threat? I refuse to believe three of my favorite people are having a problem. Uh, no problems here, Tony. None at all. Well, that depends where you're standing, whether you're behind a badge or out here with the rest of the people. You know, somebody ought to slap Well, well we're, not, we're not, we're not going to have a free-for-all, are we? I would let the intruder come out if I were you. There are some more threats. Do no, you no, no, no to... threats. Just some friendly advice. Print her usual stories about Madonna and Elvis, but lay off Mayor Buchanan. In other words, cover up the facts. No cover up. An investigation is underway into Johnny D's death. And when the time comes, the facts will be made public. Until then, you print one word of those lies, and I'll slap you with a libel suit so fast you won't know what's what. Now, if you want to hold on to your paper, come up with a new headline. Fast. What's the matter, sweetheart? Just want to make the customers happy. Oh, stop teasing me, Milt. Oh, I'm not teasing. I gotta have a kiss for luck. Well, if that's what you need, then fuck her up, old boy. I'm the best good luck charm that any guy could ever want. Megan, 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 wrong answer. Jake's gonna deck this guy, and there goes the whole plan. <laughs> oh, you mean. What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, I thought that I had strapped with the doctor said I was fine. Okay. I'm ready, Cup. Uh, no, thanks, honey. What's the matter? I thought you wanted a kiss for good luck. Hey, Milk Butler makes his own luck. Let's play. <laughs> okay, gentlemen. King of Diamond. Looks like I'm on a roll. You guys want to pay me now or you want to pay me later? <laughs> Name of the game. Five card draw, hundred dollar hand. You want to talk, you want to play cards. Oh, jeez. Some guys just don't have any sense of humor. I'm gonna laugh, look in a mirror. Okay, the bet is $100. You gonna bet, Harrison? Yeah, I'm in for 
you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got something. You playing or you ask some questions? Nope. Okay. Hot shot. I'm in. Why not? Let's do it. How many, Harrison? Two. New kid on the block takes two. Thank Hold you. it. What's going on? That's what I want to know. What are you trying to pull? Pull? No. I mean, Mr. Butler, sir. I'm not trying to pull anything. Pull? I know exactly what's going on here. You do? Well, I don't no, know Lucky, keep your mouth shut. I don't. Wait a second. Do you want to play cards, Butler, or what? I want to play cards without this cheat making signals over my shoulder. Signals? Is that what you think? <laughs> You're way off base. Hey, you know what? Now that you mention it, I did notice you walking up and back here a little bit, you know? Hey, are you crazy? Somebody speak no, up. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I think he's right. And I don't like the fact that you're here probably sh sending signals to some partner at the table telling him when to bet. Partners? You guys are crazy. Come on, Lucky. Who's your accomplice? Yeah. Who are you shilling for, shrimp? I'm not shilling for anybody. I know he's not working for me. Well, Mel, you know the way I lose at poker. It couldn't be me. Give me a break. I never saw him before tonight. Yeah, well, he sure must be doing it for somebody. There's only one way to eliminate the problem. Oh, hey, no, put well, that alone. away. He's not worth the bullets, all right? You know, I hate a cheap thing. Get out of here. Don't come back. Got it? Yeah, got it. Appreciate it, Harrison. Just getting rid of some excess baggage. Now, you get out of here. Move it. No, no, no. You're not going to let me leave, are you, Melt? Well, it could get boring here. Boring? I won't be bored as long as you're here. I've already had one distraction. The girl goes. Hey, the lady stays. Thanks, Mel. Yeah, it's my good luck charm. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll make it a butte. Well, Dorian, what's it going to be? Publish or perish? All right, I'll bury this story. A wise decision. For now. But your emotional reaction leads me to believe that you really do have something to hide. Just prove it before you print it. Oh, I will. But our honorable commissioner is going to rue the day he ever objected to this article. Because, my dear, this is just a bouquet of roses compared to what I'm after now. Good night, all. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Andy has this new policy. I can't kick someone out just for being obnoxious. <laughs> I think Ms. Lord got that message. Mm. Uh, why don't I refill these? Oh, oh good. Thank, okay. thank you. You know, I don't blame Dorian for being impressed with you at all. I mean, <laughs> because I was. You were truly something, Commissioner. Well, thanks for the compliment. And thanks for standing up for me. Sure. The trouble is, she's right. Right. Wait, Troy Nichols, you are not part of some cover-up, are you? No, we're proceeding with the investigation, no matter where it leads. The trouble is, it's leading toward Vicky. And if Dorian keeps up the pressure, Herb Callison may have to file charges against her. Come here, I do not believe Vicky has anything to do with Johnny D's death. If it were up to me, she'd never be charged. But the DA's office has to play it by the book. I'm just glad Vicky's on vacation. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, when Vicky and Clint gets back, Vicky will be... Much stronger, much healthier. She'll be able to deal with that woman, Dorian, and anything else that happens. I can tell you this much. I'm not going to let Dorian Lord or a grand jury or anybody hurt Vicki Buchanan. My goodness. Well, well, I was barking again, wasn't I? Uh, sorry. No, don't be. I, it is rare to see a man uh, stand up for his friends these days. Just remind me to stay on your good side, because after watching you this evening, uh, I'd hate to get on your bad side. Oh, wait a minute. I've seen you turn up the volume yourself there. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. oh, I, can't, I can't believe it. I heard him. He told his assistant you were the best man that he had ever heard. Gabrielle, get a hold of yourself. I cannot live without my son or my freedom, Carlo. I would be better off dead. This hysteria is not going to help anyone, least of all Al. Now, come on, take a deep breath, and I'll get you a glass of water. Why are you being so nice to me? Why? Oh, I know why, because I'm in a perfect position for you, aren't I? I pleaded guilty. That's great. That means I take the fall for you. 
And then I'm locked away. That's even better. And then Max can take out, and everybody's so happy. All right, now, Gabrielle, no one wants to see you in prison, least of all me. And you don't have to worry about losing Al. You can fight Max about that. Oh, yeah? Not after tomorrow, I can't. As soon as I go in front of Judge Haley, I lose everything. Even if he does suspend my sentence, he that'll give Max enough ammunition that I will lose okay, that enough, case. Gabrielle, enough. I didn't set you up for a fall. I told you I'd help you. Carlo Hesser is as good as his word. <laughs> no, come on, laugh. The two of us have a bond. Birds of a feather go to jail no, together. Not us. Never us. No matter what the rest of the world may think about us, we know we're better than all of them. We have our own standards, our own values, the kind they could never understand. You say it like that. We sound like the good guys and they're the bad guys. Good and evil. Wrong and right. Mealy-mouthed words for mealy-mouthed people. We're the exceptions, Gabrielle. Life made us exceptions. Like it or not. We uh, both know what it is to love a child. I know what it is to lose one. I will never, ever let that happen to you. I didn't want to run away. I'm not a coward. It's just everything started closing in around me. It's all right. Now drink this. Go ahead, go ahead, drink it up. And uh, dry the tears. There. Yeah, you're beginning to uh, look uh, better and feel better already, right? Why are you being so nice to me? Surely it's not out of the goodness of your heart. No, don't look so shocked. I do have a heart. I also have a brain. I know why you thought about running away. You're not going to hold that against me, are you? Just a deception, Gabby. Don't. Don't ever deceive me. I'm sorry. Do you know what would have happened if uh, I hadn't been here to stop you? So you would have made it to the airport. So you would have made it across the country, or out of the country, if the uh, police hadn't caught you? Asa would. Oh, you think I'm ruthless? <laughs> Asa holds the patent. Now, do you think he'd let you vanish with his grandson? Instead of shielding Al, you'd be drawing him into the line of fire. Is that what you want? I have to look forward to is a court date and a custody battle that I'm sure to lose. Nothing in life is sure except that nothing is sure. <laughs> Great parables and riddles. Speak English for me. You want the plain, blunt truth? Yes. You have nothing to fear from me, Gabrielle. I have everything under control. Of course you do. You always do for yourself. Then learn from me. No matter what happens tomorrow in front of uh, Judge Haley, I'm in the clear. And you know why? Because I have someone to take the fall for me if necessary. Well, bully for you. What about me? You, uh, are you suggesting that there's someone to take the fall from me? Hey, Pop, how you doing? Hi, Sue. Mr. Nichols. Hi, sis. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. From the way you two came in laughing, I guess it's safe to assume you got the job. I got the job. Right. <laughs> He's being modest. The club manager loved Carrie and the whole band. Well, I'm proud of you, son. Of course, I was proud of you before you got the job. Oh, well, listen. Why don't you and I treat these ladies to a couple of cups of coffee? Come on over this way, son. Okay. How's 
pretty smooth, Pop. I just hope that uh, Sheila goes easy on that. I hope so, too. Hey, listen, Tony, how about a couple cups of coffee? Gentlemen, I'm sorry I'm off for the evening, but I'm leaving you in very capable hands. All right, have a good one. All right, thanks. See you, Tony. You don't have to say anything. I already know how angry you are. How angry I was. It was wrong of me to go off with Carrie without... Did you say was? Then the anger turned to um, hurt. Sheila, I'm sorry. Rika, I realize that it has become so bad between us that you can't even tell me that you're going out with Carrie. And um, you can't even talk to me, my own sister. I didn't want to hurt you. I, I just can't take another scene. I, I'm sorry if that's not a good excuse, so go ahead and tell me that I'm a lousy sister I probably deserve. Rika, there's not going to be a scene. <laughs> I guess I'm doing pretty well for myself tonight, aren't I, gentlemen? Uh, I've never seen anything like it. No, me neither. It's a funny thing about poker. You can win all night, and then just as suddenly... You, Mr. Harrison, I think maybe you should quit while you're ahead. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just starting to get warmed up. Maybe this guy Milt isn't a cheat after all. Yeah, but if he's a real hustler, he's probably just setting Jacob for the kill. You in, Harrison? Of course. I'm on a roll. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't win them all. Yeah, even if you do. <laughs> I've got the jackpot tonight, huh, honey? <laughs> you bet you say that to all the girls, Milt. Uh, you'd lose that bet, sweetheart. <clears throat> be the only bet you won. Hey, the night's still young, pal. Don't get too cocky. And why don't you go freshen up my drink, sweetheart? Why don't you go freshen up your own drink? It's your job, isn't it? Yes, of course it's my job. Would you gentlemen like something? Uh, yeah, drinks all around. I'm fine. Nothing. Okay, Mel, I'll take uh, one. I'll take two. I'll take mm -hmm. none. Stick. Ooh. Uh. You've either got aces or you're bluffing. I think there's only really one way to find out, isn't there? J.D., where's my drink? What? Hey! What? The timbo! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the tray, you... you Cut a waitress, are you? Sorry. I'm all it's... wet! Why are you first figuring that out now, Mel? I've about had it with you, Harrison. And I've had about with you. You know what? Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's break it up, break it up. Let's keep it cool. It's only an accident. Yeah, what? I, I, Let's I, I, clean I, I, up I, the mess and we'll start a new deal. Yeah, yeah, here's a, here's a brand new set of cards right here. Excuse me. You get yourself out of here before you get hurt. When I was invited to this, I was told that I was going to be serving gentlemen. Who would have told you that? I don't like this at all. I think we better go yeah, help them. Oh, come on. Look, it's just a spill drink, all right? Let's see Jake handle it. All right, well, save Jake like loses is cool, huh? Look, he'll be really, really upset with us. He won't forgive us if we go barging in and blow his okay, cover. Okay, okay. Nice play, huh? Trust me. Hey, you open them. Why well, say we play a real man's game? Five card stud. Ten thousand minimum bet. What's the matter, Harrison? Too rich for your blood? Ten thousand it is. You misunderstood me. I did. Of course I did. Because I'm going to take the fall for you, just as I knew I would all along, yeah. <laughs> oh. You're not alone. I promise to stand by you, and I will. Every step of the way, right till they throw me in the slammer. You probably had this planned all along, oh, didn't now, you, Carl? Come on, come on, Gabrielle, be reasonable. How could I anticipate that uh, Judge Thompson would take ill? How do I know that you're not the reason he is ill? You've done worse than that, much worse. I suppose you're entitled to this irrational fear. But never underestimate me. I still have time to arrange a meeting and have a little chat with Judge Haley. Time? I meant to go before the man tomorrow morning. Haven't you heard what they call him? The word is he's incorruptible. Hmm. I've uh, heard the word uh, many times. Often. Yet it's been my experience that Everyone, including a judge, has a price. Ah, the trick is to find out what it is. And you're willing to do this for me? 
Are there any doubts? <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> you are one tough cookie, Gabrielle Holden. But I like that about you. No, you stay in Landview. You don't think about running away, and I'll keep you out of trouble. And you know why? Because, because I'll want you free from jail and available to return the favor. As I said, we are in this together. Um, it has um, taken me long enough, but I realize I've been overreacting to you and Carrie. Instead of uh, being supportive, I've become your jailer. I don't know what to say except that... Uh, Sheila, you don't have to say anything. Yes, I do. I need you to know. I need you to understand. No matter how it might have seemed, I only did it because I love you. I know you love me, Sheila. Like I love you. But it is no excuse for the way I treat you. I mean, even though I do have my good reasons for feeling the way I do and still do for why Carrie is no good for you. I, I just don't have the right to impose my feelings on you. I mean, you are a big girl now. You can live your own life and... And, and make my own mistakes. Yeah. Well, maybe I am making a mistake with Carrie, but I don't think so. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Ooh. Gosh, I see those little stars in your eyes. It's hard to see clearly that way, you know. You make it very hard for me to see it your way. Please, tell me why it's so wrong for me and Carrie. Mm -mm. Nope. Not now. Not now, no. Um, I know that I cannot keep you two away from each other. I know that. And, um, maybe I shouldn't. Sheila, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. You can see them all you want. Oh, Sheila. Mm. But this is too good to be true. What made you decide to change your mind? Oh, well, I opened my eyes and saw things in a different light. Oh, well, what do you know? My sister's finally letting a man mm -hmm. get close enough to fine-tune that attitude. What? So I leave town for a day, <clears throat> and uh, you make your move. Hey, hey, cut it out, cut no, it out. No, 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 it is okay. <laughs> Let them have their fun, even if, if it's at our expense. Uh, I deserve it. It's like I have a whole new sister, and she even wants me to have fun. Yes, I want you to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> because before you know it, you'll be headed back to Harvard, and then you're going to be too busy. Up you 10,000. You ain't done. No, I'm out. I got two kids in college. Up to you, Jake. I call you. Hmm. You're about down to ground zero, my boy. You better have something good. Better than good. You're a Jackson Sevens. <laughs> oh, way to go, Mr. Harris. Well, that's a nice hand. Yeah, it's real nice. Thank you. Not nice enough. We've been glued to this thing for hours. If he's been pulling aces from his ear, we would have seen it. We must have missed something. I'm gonna rewind the tape and take another look. Yeah, one more game, gents. Double or nothing. No, no, I'm shot. All I got is my grandfather's pocket watch. Looks like it's you and me, Jake. 10,000, huh? That's the minimum. I don't have enough to make the ante. I don't suppose you'd take an IOU, would you, Mill? <laughs> you hear that, honey? <laughs> he wants me to take him on faith. <laughs> Real comedian, huh? Yeah, what a riot. <laughs> hey, Mill, Mill, uh, I can vouch for Jake. If he tells you his IOU is good, it's good. Uh, sorry, gents. My daddy taught me two things. Number one was never take any IOUs. So what was the other? Number two, whenever in doubt, go back to number one. I think it's time to call quits, gents. I'll cash these in and we'll call it a night. I'm telling you, there's nothing on that tape. But lucky, there's got to be something, all right? Uh, we'll have to do this again sometime, gents. Jadine.
being my lucky charm, I've got something for you. Something real special. Well, thank you, but I can't accept tips. You know, it's hotel policy. Well, we'll go out and spend some of this tonight. No, I can't. Really, no, I'm I Bill can't. Butler. Don't take no for an answer. And you're not going anywhere, Milt. What'd you say? You heard me. You're not leaving this room. That's funny. I got a little friend here who says I do whatever I want. Put the gun away, Milt. Get away from that door. Look, I, I think you should listen to him, Mr. Harrison. Just quit while you're ahead. You hear that, Jake? It's unanimous. Nothing yet. Look. Where? Right there. Huh? While everybody's cleaning up the mess that Megan made, keep your eye on Milt. I'm gonna play back the close-up tape. He switched decks. I mean, back off. Take it easy, Milt. Nobody wants any trouble. That include you, Jake? Because I got plenty of bullets in here till you get the message. Make watch out. Hold it! What do we got here? The three stooges and their girlfriend? Look, Milk, I have no idea what's going on. You shut up! You J.D. was a Megan? You know this, too? They don't know anything about it. It was all my idea, Milk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe I should take care of you first and then them? Or should I save you for last, Jake? Just, just hold it right there. Hold it right there, pal. Get over here. I'm the one holding the aces here. So, uh, Carrie, when do you start performing in Scranton? What? I I'm sorry, Sue. Oh. Carrie, she said, when do you... You know, I'm sorry. I, I have to apologize. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I that was such a long trip on the bus, and I, ne I just need to go and take a walk, clear my head. Rika? You don't need my permission, I told you. It was okay. Honestly. Thanks, Sheila. You're welcome. We won't be long. Have fun. Well done. I know how difficult it was for you to swallow your doubts and let Rico go. You want to know the truth? Every time. I still have my doubts. But I am starting to realize what a smart man you are. Oh, little old me? You're trying to turn my head. Yes, little old you. You deserve a compliment or two. Come on, you made me see that I cannot control Rika's every move, and no matter how much I love her. Well, I was just glad I was able to help you and your sister get a little closer together. Troy, <clears throat> do not get a swelled head, because I am sure in time I would have come to my senses without you. Mm, is that a fact? Oh, yes, most definitely a fact. If you haven't noticed, <clears throat> I do have a mind of my own. <laughs> well, yes, I have noticed that among other things. Father, I... Father, I've been here many times, and you're probably sick of me. Heavenly Father, I have asked you so many times to help me, and you have always answered my prayers, but this time... I've come here because there's nowhere else to go. That's the truth. <laughs> but I'm fooling myself, aren't I? Because you can't help me. Not even you. I've asked one too many times, haven't I? So I'm wasting my time as well as yours. I think that's the truth. <sighs> you might have said something while you're standing back there. What are you doing here? Well, I like to come in here when it's empty and quiet. 
Just me and God, one on one. I guess that's why you were here too, right? Wrong. No, I was just uh, old times' sake, a little mm. trip down memory lane. That's funny. I could have sworn I heard you praying over there. <laughs> no, the acoustics in this building, they're, they're really atrocious. It was, uh, I was talking to myself. Uh, That's all I was doing. What? Come on, Gabrielle. I know you better than that. Do you? I was just praying, all right? I was just praying, but it didn't work. You can let go of me now. I can help you. Oh, how many times have you said to me over and over that you couldn't help me? I know what I've said. I know you came to me a lot of times, and wasn't able to give you what you needed. But maybe this is one time I can help you. It's too late, Tony. Take a good look. Because I'm what they call a lost cause. Then why'd you come here, huh? There's no automatic teller machine. You didn't come for money. There's no band playing. You didn't come for music to have a good time. Of all the places in the world, Gabrielle, you chose a church. Why? I came looking for something. Mm. All right? Maybe I came looking for the feeling that I had when I was in the convent. You remember those days, don't you? I was so happy then, wasn't I? And then I came back to the real world. Divorce, custody suits, even prison. You know, I've done a lot of thinking recently about what my life would be like if Max never took me out of the cloisters. Perhaps I'm just one of these people who can only be good when they're secluded. No, don't be ridiculous. People could be good anywhere, even in this big, bad world we live in. I happen to believe that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and all you have to do is keep your eye on it and take the first step. No more Sunday lessons, please, Father Tony. I would prefer to curse at the darkness than to light one of those candles. No, you wouldn't. That's why you came here, right? To take the first step, to walk back into the light. Come on. Tony. Pray with me. It's foolish. Sit down. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On, on earth. earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Come on, Gabrielle. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive it's those right. who trespass against us. It's too and lead us right. not into temptation, but deliver us it's from too evil. Late. I, can't. I cannot believe it. Sheila was so sweet and so understanding. Finally, we can be together without feeling guilty and without hiding. Carrie, what's the matter? Aren't you happy about this? Yes and no. Well, didn't you hear what Sheila said? She's not going to stand. She's not going to get in our way anymore. Yeah, but that's until you go back to Harvard. Because that all I am to you is a fling before you get serious and go back to college? Of course not. I'm serious now about you. Serious enough to stay in town? Carrie. I mean, I... Lambview University is a good school. I should know. I transferred from BU, and I'm happy. I wanted to talk to you about that. You mean you're thinking about transferring? No. I mean, I was wondering if you transfer back to BU when I go to Harvard. Oh, right. We'd be close. I mean, with me in Cambridge and you in Boston, all we'd have to do is cross the river. Rika, I can't do that. The band is here. I just got that gig in Scranton. A whole new world is opening up for me, right here. Well, that's how I feel about Harvard. I mean, I have a full scholarship. Opportunities like this don't come twice. I know, I know. Besides, Sheila's always dreamt about me graduating from Harvard. If I disappointed her now, it would just Forget ruin about everything. Sheila. What do you want? Carrie, you can't, please You can't don't go make through your choose. life trying to please somebody else. Where are you going to be happy? In Cambridge, Massachusetts, or right here? That's just it. I don't know myself. Well, maybe this will help you make up your mind.
say goodnight, gents. The lady and I are leaving. Sacramento? It's all your fault with that stupid camera, you know that? Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna work. Really? Everything was working great till you blew it. What the hell's going on? I... Oh, Jesus. Oh! Nice move, Lucky. Thank, Thank you. you. This guy's got the nice moves. You should see what we caught on video. Yeah, he switched the decks. I knew it! You three! Hey, take it easy, take it easy. On, this guy's on. not gonna be come cheating down. at cards anymore in land. You're using that right now, Hey. I don't understand what's going on here. I just want my money. Here, Fred. It's a train that leaves in an hour for Baltimore. Be on it. Don't worry, I'm out of here. Mr. Olson, I think 50,000 of this is yours? Yeah, and 50,000 is yours. You earned it. You did a good job. Thank you. All right, gents, thank you very much. It has been a distinct pleasure. Thank you, guys. Well. What should we do with Milty here? What else? How about a nice guided tour of the hotel lobby, huh? Particular emphasis on the front door. Yeah. Come on, Uncle Milty. Thanks, uh, guys. <laughs> Thanks, oh, guys. I'll see you. <laughs> Pretty good, huh, Mark? My dear, look at 50 big ones. Nice nest egg, huh? Darren, I can't even believe you're saying this. I mean, you could have gotten yourself killed. Megan, I'm sorry. I, I was doing this for us. What, for us? Did, did I ask you to go off and take a risk like this? It's my job, Megan. Don't you get it? I have to provide for us. Well, what, what, this was all some way of proving something to me? <sighs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Well, it's not necessary. I, I don't care about money. I don't care about nest eggs. I, I just care about you being alive. 